some people asked me if I would create some tutorials for creating three blue, one brown uh, animations. And I thought, what a brilliant idea. I'm gonna start off with vector spanning, but if you've been watching any three blue, one brown, and you want to learn how to create some of his animations, but you just don't quite know how to, then feel free to let me know. I'll see if I can get around to creating a tutorial. Now, if you go to his GitHub and you just try and copy and paste this code into your Python terminal, you're all gonna get faced with an error because the syntax is out of date. So if you wanna create those tutorials, you pretty much you kinda of have to know what you're doing, okay? So at least in this one, I'm covering one of the first videos he did in the essence of linear algebra, which is the vector spanning, because I thought it was really cool. Now I've translated this into Manum CE, and it's, to be honest, it's actually pretty short, so let's get to it. This is it, this is the whole animation. Okay, call a class, construct the scene, number plane. So pretty much where all the magic is happening here is in this definition of a get a spanning vectors, which is something I've just made up. So you can see it takes in a plane, we've got an X and a Y value because those are my X and Y values on my plane. Okay, now with anything that I create, generally I'm just gonna have a result, which is a vector group. And if I go to the bottom, that's what I'm returning. Okay, that's what I'm returning there. So I create a vector group. I shove everything into that vector group. So when the definition's done, we're just gonna return whatever that is. So you've gotta make sure that you do that. Otherwise, when you create a definition, uh, you're not gonna be out outputting anything. Now, really what I've done here is, you could probably have done this many ways. I've got a while loop here. So this is, this is actually a type of loop. So I'm saying while x is less than or equal to seven, and the only reason I've done that is because the madam screen goes from x being negative seven to x being seven. Okay, so this would cover pretty much everything. Okay, and it also goes from y being negative four up to y being four. If you just call a number plane, those are the endpoints of your plane that are gonna be there. So I've got a loop saying while x is less than or equal to seven, and then within this while loop, I've got a for loop because I wanna span all of the x and y's. So this is gonna work right here. We're starting at x equals negative seven. So for all the x equals negative seven coordinates, which will be all of these guys down here, what I'm doing is I'm saying, look, call the, and I probably don't need uh, NP a range here because I'm not taking any decimals, but it's just habit. So I'm saying, if x is, if x is less than or equal to zero, and the reason I've got this conditional here is for coloring, okay? Otherwise, this if statement and the else, it's not really necessary, but you can see with my if statement, I've got orange and yellow for a dot, and then else, yellow than orange. So I'm just flipping the colors. Okay, it's really, this is just for a visual effect. Okay, for the vector, I've got blue than pink, and then down the bottom here, else, in this else statement underneath there, it is a pink than blue. So I'm just flipping the colors as soon as we cross this X uh, as soon as we cross the y-axis there. Okay, now what I'm doing here is, firstly, I'm just creating points and then I'm creating vectors that span out to those said points. So firstly, given our conditional, when x is less than uh, or equal to zero for the coloring purposes, I've got a dot. I'm doing some stuff to the dots. There's a fill color, there's fill opacity, scaling it down, and then I'm moving it to the plane, coordinates to point, whatever the x value is, whatever the y value is. So I'm just putting the dot there. So for the time being, this is gonna go x is negative seven, y is negative four, then y is negative three, negative two, negative one, one, two, uh, zero, one, two, three, and four doesn't go up to five, it stops at that four point there. And then after that, I've got a vector, which is a line, and I'm adding a tip. Now I've actually scaled down the tip because I don't want the tips to be huge. So you can do that with tip length uh, equals 0 0.2 or 0 point whatever you want, okay? Start at the origin, end it at the point and get the center of the point. Now this point is the one you've created there. And then again, I want to lower the opacity of that there. Now it's gonna go through and so while X is at the moment, it's negative seven, it's gonna go through and do that for loop for all of those guys right there and then i'm saying result add that to the result so add the point add the vector for that whole for loop okay go through 
do that whole loop and then add one to X. So you start to catch on the pattern there. So you go through, add it all through, and there you go, X plus one. So now we're gonna do it for X equals negative six. And if I go through and zoom in here, all it's gonna do is go same thing for negative six, and the same thing for negative five, and so on, until our while loop has been met, which is that negative seven point. So all of the programming would just go bang, 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 for that while loop, and then the conditions will be met. So that's gonna give me a spanning vector group. Now you can play with the numbers if you wanna change the coordinate system, if you wanna put an axis, whatever you wanna do. Okay, if you wanna put them at non-integer values, you can totally do that. Okay, and then I'm just returning the whole result. So the result is the entire spanning of the vector. Now this, <laughs> this is it. This is the whole animation. Okay, call a class, construct the scene, number plane, add the plane. Call the span, which is our function we've just created. Okay, plane on plane one, because of that, there I've called that plane one. X negative seven, Y negative four, those are the conditions, and it's gonna be for while X is going up to that point seven. Create the span with a runtime of two, and that's it, the whole animation done and dusted.